was before in the gym, I wouldn't really understand the concept of happiness, really. Because I don't really feel happy outside of the gym. It's a special place. If you know Sully's Boxing Gym, you have to, I almost have to say the name with a certain level of respect. Uh, Earl Sully Sullivan. Uh, is, uh, he founded the gym. Yeah, me and uh, Sully, we've been friends, uh, like I said, since 1966. And uh, he used to drive a lot uh, back in the day, uh, back and forth to uh, Buffalo, and we'll have competitions over there. And uh, he would always give us money, and uh, you know, back on 66, like $20 and stuff was a lot of money for a kid, eh? I, I was hoped through the years I'd be in a position where I could run a place the way Sally did and let kids just come. Don't re recall anybody giving them any money to uh, train them. We fighting came and Sally used to take kids off the street. So, so Sally is the one for people taking kids off the street and training them. A lot of, lot of fighters started in Sully. Sully take kids off the street and train them and stuff like that. Give them a home, you know, give, feed, feed the kids and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of history. I mean, it's, not, you know, it's, 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 not just, it's not just what people want to fight. Anybody can, I mean, anybody can go to a gym and work out, right? Anybody can go to a gym and work out. But what, what, you, what, what you want from me? I wasn't a bad kid, but I've, Experienced a lot joining this gym. Helped me out a lot too. Kept me out of the streets with certain people and stuff like that. So, spent more majority of my time in the gym instead of like, I have a lot of friends that actually passed away that are no longer with us because they took a different path. When you go down, your hands go up. I go down, my hands go up. Okay, so higher, one higher. Okay, under, under, again. Let's go. Like I said, like I said, in life we all have problems. Even younger kids, I have some young young kids that have um, issues at school. I have one kid tell me, um, oh, I'm getting bullied at school and stuff like that. So I just want to learn to defend myself. It's not hard, it's not hard, it's timing. Timing. Really? No, it's too hard. Since I've been here, like Lennox Lewis, I've been here, George Chevalier, I've been here, local fighters have been here. Muhammad Ali came here in 1967, I think. Leon Spinks, Muhammad Ali. Oh my God. I knocked him out in the first round. Wow. I needed to find something to do because in the area that I grew up in, if you don't find something to do, something finds you. And I knew that it was only a matter of time before I most likely either got in trouble myself or was hanging with some people who got in trouble and I'm guilty by association. Or there's just a lot of things that could have happened. And I figured, why not boxing? I don't really... Or at the time, I didn't know anybody that boxed. Born a gym, super shy kid. Uh, not much of a talker. I was like, had like a stuttering problem. And I hated talking because my mind would move faster than my, my lips. And so I would say something that would sound stupid. And I'm like, you know what? It's better to just not say anything. Three day tournament, I was, Super young, I didn't think I could do it. I thought I was gonna walk into the arena and like just pass out or from just being nervous. Cause it's like me being young and like an anxious kid already and not really having the self-confidence that I have now, walking into a arena knowing that I'm gonna have to fight somebody. So it's just a lot of pressure that I had on my shoulders. And I didn't think that it was something I was gonna be able to do successfully. I kind of went into it just wanting to survive essentially, but I ended up winning the whole tournament from a weight class as a profession. Like I've seen people come in and really like change their lives like 180 just because of meeting Tony or seeing the people in the gym and seeing how everybody works and really focuses on themselves at the end of the day. You know, boxing is a, is a lone wolf sport, but you still have a team around you. <laughs> It's home, man. It's, 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 a, it's, like, it's like a family here, you know? I, I'll, leave, I'll honestly, to, to be honest, I don't even know where to start. This, this gym, it has saved my life once. It's, this gym is like a second home. 
I've never felt anything negative in this gym. Uh, definitely a second home. I would have to say life changing. I'm still here and uh, I hope this uh, will carry on even uh, further.